On March 25, 2021, the United States Government Financial Report for the fiscal year 2020 was released to the public. The financial report includes the government's costs and revenues, assets and liabilities, and other important financial information. It is an essential tool to measure how well the United States government is doing financially. Since this is such an important event, we looked into the media coverage of the newly released financial report. We found out that most media and news outlets did not have any content on that matter. The question is, if they don't care about the financial report of the United States government, why should you? We compared media coverage of the financial report with media coverage of the United States government's budget for the fiscal year 2020, which was released on March 11, 2019. According to Cision Media Research, the LA Times, the Wall Street Journal, USA Today, the New York Times, and the Washington Post are among the top daily newspaper outlets according to the latest circulation numbers. So, we look into their archives to see if they covered the budget or the financial report. We found that all of the news outlets covered the budget proposal in 2019, but none covered the United States government's financial report for the fiscal year 2020. We also found that MSNBC, Fox News, and CNN, which are generally considered the big three cable news networks, also covered the budget proposal in 2019. And you guessed it right, they did not have any content directly related to the newly released financial report of the United States government. Despite the media's lack coverage on the report, why should you care about the United States government's financial report? A budget is a forward-looking document that essentially plans how the government is going to spend its money. Everybody loves to spend money, so it makes sense that the media considers this newsworthy. But the budget is just a plan. It can be followed or ignored by those doing the spending. On the other hand, the financial report shows the actual revenue and spending numbers. It allows citizens to judge whether the government deviated from its budget plan and whether it was a good steward of taxpayer dollars. Even though no one is covering the report, it contains valuable information and Truth in Accounting breaks down the most important parts in the financial state of the Union report. The financial report of the US government shows what the government owns. It also shows what the government owes but chooses not to report. This includes nearly $100 trillion in unfunded social security and Medicare promises. These are promises that our federal government has made to our citizens but has not yet set any money aside to fund. Here's the truth from the financial state of the Union report. 